Greetings everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bite Size History on History with Audrey D. In today's lesson, we are going to be taking a look at the Four Noble Truths of Buddhism. Now in my latest video, which is more so full length, I discuss Buddhism as a whole and discuss the Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, as well as the history of the Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama. Now in this video, we are going to be focusing on the Four Noble Truths as one of the paths to enlightenment. If you are enjoying these lessons so far, please make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button. Also find me on Instagram as History with Audrey D. And you can support this channel further through the links in my bio as well as in the description below. The Four Noble Truths are a foundation in the teachings of Buddhism developed and elucidated by Siddhartha Gautama, known as the Buddha upon his enlightenment. They form the essence of the Buddhist teachings and provide a framework for understanding the nature of suffering and the path to liberation. Now, here is a brief overview of each truth. Now, the first truth is the truth of suffering or dukkha. The first noble truth acknowledges the presence of suffering in life. This suffering is not just physical pain, but also includes the dissatisfaction and unease that pervade human existence. The Buddha taught that birth, aging, illness, death, encountering what is unpleasant, and separation from what is pleasant are all forms of suffering. The second noble truth is the truth of the cause of suffering, or samudaya. The second noble truth identifies the cause of suffering, which is often attributed to craving or tana and attachment. It's the selfish desire for pleasure, material goods, and the desire to avoid unpleasant experiences that lead to suffering. This craving can manifest as greed, hatred, and ignorance. The third noble truth is the truth of the cessation of suffering or naroda. The Third Noble Truth offers hope by proclaiming that suffering can be overcome. It asserts that the cessation of craving leads to the cessation of suffering. By letting go of attachments and desires, one can attain a state of liberation and freedom from suffering known as Nirvana. And finally, we have the Fourth Noble Truth, the truth of the path to cessation of suffering. The Fourth Noble Truth is known as Maga. It outlines the Eightfold Path as the way to end suffering. The Eightfold Path consists of right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. By following this path, individuals can cultivate wisdom, ethical conduct, and mental discipline, ultimately leading to the cessation of suffering the Four Noble Truths form the foundation of Buddhist philosophy and practice, guiding followers on a path of self-discovery, compassion, and liberation from the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. And that wraps it up for the Four Noble Truths. Now, as mentioned, there is also the Eightfold Path, which we'll be discussing in my next short video, and is also discussed in my full-length video on the philosophy of Buddhism. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and if you did, please make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, find me on Instagram as History with Audrey D, and you can support this channel further through my websites that are linked in the bio as well as the description below. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you in our next lesson.